Nearly 100 years after the fatal plight of the ship that was once believed to be unsinkable, the story of the RMS Titanic continues to fascinate generations. And the man who discovered the wreckage at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean detailed his moment of discovery to the press on Wednesday at a new exhibit in Mystic, Connecticut. It was like scoring the winning goal. I play college basketball. It was like scoring the winning goal at the buzzer. So we were excited. We jumped up and down and celebrated. And then, then someone, you know, looking at the clock in the control room said, she sinks in 20 minutes. And we realized that we were there. And we were very embarrassed that we were celebrating. And so this mood changed. And it, it, it we went, particularly when we started to see where the bodies had landed. And we realized this was a cemetery and not something that you should desecrate. The exhibit, titled Titanic 12,450 Feet Below, uses interactive technology, including seafloor footage of the site to show visitors what has become of the ship that sank to the North Atlantic floor in 1912. Over 1,500 bodies of victims were lost as sea creatures and ocean chemicals have dissolved their skeletons. Only their shoes remain. Replicas of shoes and artifacts such as the captain's bathtub are used in the exhibit to visualize what lies beneath the deep waters. Ballard said that he believes these findings should remain with the ship at the bottom of the ocean as the site is a cemetery that should not be disturbed. Many explorers and scavengers that visit the site following its discovery have damaged the wreckage. The submarines are big, you know, it's a bull in a china closet. These are big, big vehicles that are landing on a very fragile deck and they're crushing it. You can see exactly where they've landed. They knocked off the crow's nest. Uh, they ripped things off the ship. They've left trash everywhere. So they're really abusing the site. And what we're trying to do is to shine a light on that abuse and get them to stop doing that. We have no problem with people visiting the Titanic, but you don't take belt buckles off the Arizona. You don't go to Gettysburg with a shovel. You go there and you treat it accordingly, and why not? For the Titanic. Ballard said he's taking advantage of the event's centenary to advocate rules to help preserve the site and other major discoveries that lie beneath the sea. The exhibit is also a symbol of his philosophy to protect the integrity of the lives that were lost on April 14, 1912. The Mystic Aquarium will showcase Titanic 12,450 feet below as a permanent installation, opening to the public on April 12, 2012. Marisa Christian, Ivy Times TV.